Why do trig functions have those names? We've got sine, cosine, tangent, secant, cosecant, and cotangent. Those come from Latin since trigonometry is old. You probably know that tangent means touching, but you probably don't know that secant means cutting. You'll see why in a minute. Three of them start with co, the cosine, the cotangent, and the cosecant. The co means complement, as in complementary angle. Complementary angles are two angles that add up to 90 degrees. 20 degrees and 70 degrees, 40 degrees, 50 degrees, 15 degrees and 75 degrees, and so on. Cosine of 20 means the complement's sine, meaning the sine of 70. The name sine, it turns out, is mangled Sanskrit. It got translated Sanskrit to Arabic, Arabic to Latin, Latin to English, and it got ruined. Here's a diagram with all six trig functions. We have a square of side length 1 with a quarter circle in it, of radius 1. To make the angle, we have a cutting line, a secant line, and then a tangent line, a touching line, going there. They meet at point A. And so AGE is a right triangle. This angle is the complement of theta, so this is the cotangent of theta. And the hypotenuse of this is the cosecant, whereas the blue hypotenuse all the way is the secant. Finally, if you just go from E to D, the hypotenuse is 1, the vertical is sine, and the horizontal EF is cosine theta.